After 52 years, U.S. Space Agency NASA is ready to land its spacecraft on the moon, its return since 1972. The moon lander is named Odyssey and is developed by a company called Intuitive Machines, IM. It is also called IM-1 Moon Lander. The launch took place from Kennedy Space Center in Florida, using SpaceX's Falcon 9 rocket to launch the Odyssey lander into space. This mission has been named Intuitive Machines Nova Sea Spacecraft. If everything goes according to plan, its landing on the moon is scheduled for February 22, 2024. But let's look at the details. Is everything going smoothly with the IM-1 mission? Let us tell you the latest updates of this mission in this special video of Cosmic Discovery. Initially, the IM-1 mission was slated for November 2023. However, on October 27th, Intuitive Machines had to adjust the launch schedule to mid-January of this year due to a crowded timeline at the LC-39A launch pad. After careful consideration, SpaceX rescheduled the launch for approximately 1 a.m. on February 14th. However, just 90 minutes before liftoff, SpaceX had to delay the launch by a day to 10.05 a.m. on the 15th due to an issue encountered during the spacecraft's fueling process on the launch pad. According to SpaceX, the temperature of the methane fuel transferred into the spacecraft was not in line with the established standards, posing potential risks to the mission. This incident came as a surprise, given that the Nova SE lander was specifically designed to utilize methane cryogenic propellant, similar to Starship. This environmentally friendly fuel source offers increased thrust, thereby reducing the travel time to the moon compared to earlier missions that often extended over many months. If everything goes well, this lander will reach the moon in nine days. NASA and IM aim for the landing to be near the Malapert Crater, located at the lunar south pole. The Malapert Crater is 69 kilometers wide. The mission will conclude two weeks after landing because darkness will set in. In total, this is a 16-day mission. This means the Nova Sea Odyssey lander will operate for up to seven days after landing on the lunar surface. It is the world's first private company lunar lander set to land on the moon. This is significant as the last moon landing mission conducted by NASA was Apollo 17 in 1972. The IM-1 mission aims to touch down on the moon on the 22nd of this month, just one week after its launch. However, this timeline presents challenges for the SpaceX team. Cryogenic fuel, being highly susceptible to boiling off, requires a fueling process as close to launch time as possible to prevent unnecessary fuel waste. SpaceX faced the unique task of designing a new fuel system for this lander, marking the first instance of using methane on the Falcon 9. Moreover, the fueling process encountered an additional hurdle due to the lander's placement inside the Falcon 9's fairing. This prompted SpaceX to make modifications to the Falcon 9 design. Leading up to the flight, SpaceX conducted two tests of the system, revealing a minor leakage in ground support equipment during one of the attempts. Fortunately, the skilled engineers at SpaceX successfully addressed and resolved the issue before launch. Approximately 30 minutes before liftoff, SpaceX confirmed the completion of the fueling process for the IM-1 lander and initiated the propellant loading for the Falcon 9 right on schedule at 1.05 a.m. on the 15th. The Falcon 9, carrying the lunar lander payload, then launched successfully. The booster executed a flawless landing in landing zone number one. About 48 minutes later, the lunar lander was deployed, marking the commencement of its journey to the moon. Immediate acclaim followed, with prominent figures expressing praise. NASA's administrator Bill Nelson took to Twitter, extending congratulations to Intuitive Machines and SpaceX for the triumphant launch. He noted the significance, stating, Six NASA scientific instruments are on their way to the moon, a giant leap for humanity. CLPS missions will help us shape the future of human exploration for the next generation. Meanwhile, SpaceX shared this message on the social media platform. Today's mission to the moon is just the first. Our Falcon fleet will launch for NASA's CLPS program, which will help enable humanity to explore the moon, Mars, and beyond, bringing us one step closer to making life multiplanetary. In addition, key figures at SpaceX also expressed their reactions. Gwynne Shotwell, the president of SpaceX,
proudly declared that IM-1 is on its way to become the first American spacecraft to land on the lunar surface since the Apollo program concluded more than 50 years ago. Meanwhile, Elon Musk opted for a concise and humble tweet, stating, Lunar Lander Deployed. Following a successful deployment, intuitive machines continued to provide regular updates on the lunar lander's journey. As of this report, the Nova SE lunar lander remains in stable operation, with its batteries configured positively for power and fully charged. Upon leaving Falcon 9, the spacecraft autonomously activated all sensors and radios. The lunar lander utilized the inertial measurement unit to assess attitude rates and engaged the reaction control system, effectively neutralizing those rates as per the design. However, a few minor issues have been reported. Specifically, the lunar lander encountered challenges in accepting Star Tracker data. The cause is believed to be a numerical conditioning disparity in the Star Tracker information during flight, differing slightly from intuitive machines' expectations, despite the system undergoing terrestrial testing with satisfactory results. The vehicle exhibited an extremely low rate of rotation, approximately 15 degrees per second, primarily around the long axis. This caused the solar arrays and antennas to cyclically move in and out of the desired orientation. At a certain point, intuitive machines passed through Nova C's maximum power attitude, documenting the artificial attitude. Subsequently, they manually directed the navigation system to transition to attitude pointing and instructed the vehicle to adopt the observed maximum power attitude. Moreover, a patch was dispatched to the spacecraft leading to the resumption of nominal operations for Star Tracker updates. The patch underwent ground testing before being sent to the spacecraft, initiating the restart of the Star Tracker and immediate processing of updates. Utilizing the collected diagnostic data, they identified a patch to align the numerical conditioning of the Star Tracker data with the navigation system's acceptance test. Based on this, they are also gearing up for the Otis commissioning maneuver scheduled one day later. Intuitive Machines has confirmed that the flight controller successfully initiated the first liquid methane and liquid oxygen engine in space, marking the completion of the IM-1 mission's engine commissioning. This engine firing comprised a full-thrust mainstage engine burn and throttle-down profile crucial for lunar landing. The flight controllers will thoroughly analyze the engine burn data obtained from a distance of over 270,000 kilometers away from Earth. This achievement marks another first for intuitive machines, showcasing a pivotal technology essential for achieving a gentle landing on the Moon's surface. As of now, the scheduled landing for the afternoon of February 22nd remains unchanged. These are the most recent updates on the IM-1 mission. Stay tuned for further developments in the upcoming episodes. Currently, as the IM-1 mission proceeds smoothly, another significant mission for this month, Crew-8, experienced a shift in its launch schedule. According to NASA's latest update, the launch is now scheduled for the 1st of March. This marks the second instance of NASA delaying the launch of Crew-8. Initially, on February 13th, the launch date was moved to February 28th making the launch schedule one week later than initially planned for the 22nd. NASA provided an explanation for this adjusted schedule. Actually, a couple of explanations. Specifically, they mentioned that NASA and SpaceX will continually evaluate the readiness of Crew-8 and might make adjustments to the launch date following a successful IM-1 launch. Additionally, this change is likely aimed at easing the workload on the LC-39A launch system as it serves as the launch pad for both the IM-1 and Crew-8 missions. Given the importance of these missions, NASA and SpaceX require ample time for thorough preparation, ensuring the launch system is consistently in optimal operating conditions. Crew-8 marks SpaceX's second crew launch mission of 2024, succeeding the Axiom-3 mission, and stands as the eighth mission in the commercial crew program assigned by NASA. The recent delay won't significantly impact SpaceX, reaffirming their prowess in orbital launches compared to competitors like Boeing Starliner, which can only initiate its first crew mission no earlier than April. The delay in Crew-8's mission serves as a testament to SpaceX's readiness to face another formidable contender, 
the Dream Chaser spaceplane, currently undergoing final tests and set for launch on ULA's SE-2 mission in April. Returning to the moon race, another significant player gearing up for monumental strides is China. Over the past year, major countries such as Russia, India, Japan, and the US, alongside NASA's IM-1 mission, have persistently endeavored to explore the moon. China, being a nation with ambitious lunar goals, is actively participating in this competition, and they certainly won't be left behind. However, China's upcoming mission holds exceptional significance, surpassing any endeavor attempted by other nations. This mission entails the unique task of collecting samples from the far side of the moon, an unprecedented feat. Scheduled for May of this year, the Chang'e 6 mission is anticipated to span 53 days, with the objective of gathering approximately 4.4 pounds or 2 kilograms of samples to be later sent back to Earth for thorough analysis. Illustrating their unwavering commitment, the engineers dedicated to the Chang'e 6 mission chose to work through the Lunar New Year holiday, a significant festivity in Asian countries, prioritizing this crucial mission. Perhaps their efforts were rewarded with a generous red envelope. Regardless, this marks a substantial leap forward for China in its lunar ambitions. Let's not forget that in 2018 with the Chang'e 4 mission, China achieved the remarkable feat of being the first country to dispatch a rover to the far side of the moon. Their upcoming mission is poised to not only yield valuable data for China, but also establish a substantial foundation for them to contend with other competitors, particularly the US. This marks the onset of the first direct competition between the East and the West on the Moon. The outcome remains uncertain, and only time will reveal who will emerge triumphant in this historic lunar race. So friends, today's episode ends. Thank you very much for watching the full video.